This is head to head with DeepSeek R1 model, which is the best one open source at the moment. And here we have Gemma 3 and the benchmarks are really high and you can run this uh, without a lot of costs and you don't have to pay for anything, just run it in your computer. In this video, we'll install Gemma 3, which is the latest version of Gemma family uh, AI models. This one is free and open source from Google, and I will show you how to install it into your computer. At the moment, I'm using a MacBook Air M1 chip, and you can definitely run it in any computer that you have. So the reason that we are doing this is that you can first, you can install it and run it locally for privacy reasons. Uh, two, you can fine tune it and do anything and modify it as you want since it's open source. And three, it's free and is optimized for what to run in one GPU of your computer and also in other architectures like M1. And it will do this using very easily. We'll install it from Olama and also I'll show you how to run it and create an AI agent using N8N, which is a, a platform that can create AI agents and run automations in your, your computer. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. So to do that, we'll do, we'll use uh, Olama and go to the link in the description to visit Olama. And here is the Gemma 3 website. And here you can choose many models that you have. But at the moment for our tutorial reasons, I'll use just 1 billion token, but the best one is 12 billion for your computer if you can run it smoothly. And then you just have to copy this command here, Olama run Gemma 3 and the, the number of the billions here. And first you have to download Olama. So in this website, you can see we have a download button. So go ahead and download. If as soon as you click download for Mac OS, you just have to install it just like you usually install an application on to your MacBook. But I have already installed it. And, and here up the screen, we have an, an icon for Olama that is rank. And then you just have to open terminal into your computer. And you will see here that uh, you can run an Olama command. And Olama, and you can type list to list all of your models. At the moment, uh, I have these models, but for you, it might be shows uh, empty. And to install a new model, you just have to paste the command that you just copied. Olama run and choose the token that you want. At the moment, I have 1B. I want to run 1B. And But you can just run any model that you want. There are all other models too that you can just directly use here. But uh, let's run this 1B. And as soon as this, uh, you press it run, it will show you here to run Olama and Gemma 3 model. So if I test it here, just type hello, it will show that uh, I do uh, with an answer. So now how to run it and create an AI agent using N8N. So go to browser and search for N8N and we'll use this platform. So to do that, we'll install Docker to install this, this as a container. And to install Docker, just go to Google and search for Docker and Docker download, and make sure to download it for your MacBook. I have already downloaded, so uh, I, I assume that you know how to download it and how to run it. So just open Docker, and here we have Docker. So what you have to do is to install it and inside a Docker container. Container is just an, an image where, or a, um, a storage where everything is placed for it and. So to do that, you just have to go to images or uh, you can search here in the bar and search for N8N. And as soon as you search, you'll see this N8N and and, uh, IO latest and you have to click install for you. But at the moment I have it here and it shows run. So as soon as you install, it will show here on images. And what you can do is just click this action button run. So you just click on run. And this will start this and it and workflow locally into your computer. If you can't run it in images, just go to containers because it will create a new container. And if it asks, so if you have a problem that you cannot open it after it is running, and you have to make sure to put in the ports this number five six seven eight, and then it should run the container in this port because this is a port where and it and can run. And then you just click on run here and it will start the machine. And then you can click on this link, localhost, or you can just go to your local host. And here it will show you to uh, create a new, a, a new credentials, create a new account. But for me, I have run it previously, so I made things ready and I, I didn't want to lose you a lot of time. So like we just 
go ahead and sign in. So here's init n, and you can create new workflows here. So click on create workflow. And here we have to create a new AI agent that can interact with Olama and Gemma 3 model. So uh, click on just first here, add, and a search for AI agent. Here's an AI agent. So now that you have an AI agent, you have to choose a model that you want to uh, uh, run with this AI agent and uh, click on plus here and make sure to install Olama. Here's Olama chat model. And to run Olama, you have to choose the credentials. So create new credential and the credentials needs to be the local host and where the Olama is running. So usually it runs on this port here, but uh, if you try to save it, it won't work. This is the reason that is not working is because uh, and it and is running in a closed container in Docker and it does not have access to to our computer and machine. And to fix this issue, you have to replace local host with this host the Docker dot internal. This makes it possible to access local host on our computer from this uh, container of um, of Docker. So as soon as you put that, you just click on retry and you will see with green that is successfully. And now it just has to have to save it. So save. And now we have access to the model and choose this credentials and you can choose the model that we have here. So we are going to run Gemma 3 one B and now we can get out of this and we have our chat agent ready. But another thing that we can do is that we can create a memory and to create a memory, just put a windows buffer memory. This should save the memory of what you have chatted with the AI before. And now we can click on chat and this will open chat box and we'll just have to test it. Uh, let's type hello again and we get an answer here. So uh, here's answer and it also uses memory to save everything. And now we can uh, just uh, type, for example, my name is top notch. And now that I asked what is my name, it is uh, going to give me an answer uh, top notch that I, I just gave it before because it has a memory. And on this way, it is going to remember and run it again. If you make it possible to run a huger model, the best model is at, at least 12B to run it locally into your computer if it's possible. But you need a better graphic card or a, a better chip for your uh, netbook. So that's why I just running this for the tutorial purpose. So this was a video for today. I hope you will like it and uh, we'll build a lot of more videos with AI agents and automation, how to build a lot of things with automation, automate the processes that you do in your daily life. And in this way, you can achieve a lot more than you usually do. So that is for today. See you in the next one.